Welcome back to CNA Gameplay. I'm going to be playing now because Alex is all burned out on Gex for the day. Mm -hmm. See, I can do Polter Gex or this old cave. We'll do that. This old cave sounds good. I know what you're thinking. It's tail time. That's not what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> That's definitely not what I was thinking. Much for the falling lava. Oh, I remember this one. This one's tough. Okay, whose job was it to mow the lawn? <laughs> what? Right on, Gex. Oh, Flintstones reference. Get it? Because he's like talking to dinosaurs. What's no. That? Oh, it's a blueprint for the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that from Flintstones? The difference between this and Hades is there's no cat easy gift. I do remember that from the Flintstones, but... Wow, that's like Gex's ancestor there. <laughs> His tail came after me. Okay. Gex has two eyebrows. Og is a chimp. Oh. Evolve or die. Korg, Korg walks up right. right. All this thanks to Miracle. Thanks to Miracle what? Huh? I don't know. What did he say? All this thanks to Miracle something. Oh. I thought he said all bitches are miracles. What? I don't know. You're getting tired. The difference between the yeah, it's Hades like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> I've been up for 22 hours or something. I don't know what blue does. Oh, it made me cold. Can I walk in lava? Nope. No, you can't. Did I get hurt? Yes. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, it's a toy, it's a toy. Oh, it's a toy. Boing. There's a peace Boing. sign on the wall over there. Yeah. A bunch of hippie motherfucking filthy cavemen. Shrieks out truth. of Pangea. Is that what this <laughs> says? Yeah. Or is it supposed to be pronounced Pangea? I, I don't know. I thought it was uh, Pangaea. I have no idea. Like, Who comment, knows? subscribe if you know. I heart my... Gex. No. Gecko. Make fire, Make not fire, war. Make fire, not war. Save the T-Rex. Vote for Og. It's tail time! Apparently it's tail time. It I seems to know. be tail time a lot. Jeez. Every time he says that, I think of tool time. <laughs> I can't yeah. do his, his thing. <laughs> you can't do his thing either. No, I can't. I don't remember how it sounds exactly. You can't do it, but I know how it sounds. I don't remember. Huh? Kind of like that. Ooh. My voice is wrong, but yeah. God, I hated that show. Really? Yeah. I enjoyed it, but I was. I've always, I've never liked Tim Allen. He's all right. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is on it. He yeah. went on to be a, a something for a brief moment in time. He went on to nothing, really. Yeah. Um. Well, he was like a pretty boy for a little while there, and then he just disappeared. Yeah. I actually looked that up recently because he did a guest star in this one show that Tim Allen has on ABC right now. Oh, yeah. And, like, so I watched that episode, and uh, the guy that JTT is playing is saying, like, you look awfully familiar. Or maybe that's what Tim Allen says. <laughs> and he just goes, hmm? With that stupid voice uh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's something awful familiar about that. And he's like, well, I did go to high school with your daughter. No, that's not it. <laughs> it was like totally fan service. It's yeah. great. Did we ever find out the mystery of Wilson? Uh, yeah, in the series finale they showed him. Oh, oh give me, give the me, mystery me. was just what he looked like? Yeah. Was he just a guy? Yeah, he was just a normal dude. You could totally like piece together his face over time if you uh, like paid just attention. Just looked at him. Yeah, if you paid attention. Yeah. So that's tail time. Next time on Tail Time, we will do something tailish. Oh, that was only five minutes. Okay, I'll do another yeah. one. Do another little. That one was easy. Mm, it was because I was playing. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Remember when you were playing that one level and it took just as long as me on that Star Wars one? I didn't play that one. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You played that entire thing. Yeah, the Star Wars one, not the other one. Right. I didn't play the Star Wars one at all. I had never accused you of doing that. You just said that. <gasps> no, I said when you played that one on the Toon level. No, you said that one on the Star Wars level. No, it took yes, just as long as when I played the one on the Star Wars level. 
That's not what you said. Rewind the tape. Like, comment, subscribe. Because I'm damn sure that's not what you said. So I'm going to go to the morgue. Axe in the chest for Scatman Crothers. <laughs> that's a reference I don't get. I'm a scat man. Do -do 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 do 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 That's a 90s song. Uh huh. I remember that. I just don't get the axe in the chest part. Neither do I, but I assume it's because I'm going towards a morgue and it's it's a haunted level. And so there's like. I guess Gex's references don't actually have to be connected with logical thought. Of course not. It's Gex. Yeah. That wouldn't make it zany. Yeah. He's gotta have. He's gotta be the rude dude with attitude. <laughs> is that what he is? Sure. That's how I came across in the videos. Just like, he's our new mascot. And he's way yeah. past cool. <laughs> Why do I always go to Sonic <laughs> every time? Because he's like the ultimate mascot character. Well, he's the ultimate wannabe badass character that totally doesn't come off that way. Yeah. He was the ultimate attitude '90s guy or whatever. Tried to be, but he just came off as silly. I probably don't want to hop in that. That's because those characters were all silly and stupid. Sonic was just the best at being silly and stupid. And like Mario wasn't nearly as bad. But that's what they were all trying to do. Is they were all trying yeah. to be different mascots for different companies and video game stuff. To try to match Mario. But Mario was like more of an accidental mascot. All these other ones were created to be mascots. Well, they're, they're corporate mascots. Like, Sonic is a corporate mascot. Same yeah. with Gex here. Same with Crash Bandicoot. Well, kind of. The ads were Crash Bandicoot. Um, Do you remember those ads where Crash Bandicoot would, like, go and troll Nintendo HQ? Yeah. He'd stand outside and be like, yeah, check this shit out. Look at the PlayStation. Yeah, I remember those ads. They were kind of funny. Yeah. Do you remember the, uh... I always thought they were annoying. <laughs> I don't know they were kind of funny. Um, remember the one where he got like shot out of a cannon or something or no he was on a bike trying to like jump something yeah I remember that one it's like a little motorcycle do you remember the Spyro the Dragon ads nope oh they were great that was like dude that was like in a costume of a sheep and uh, he would be like advocating getting rid of Spyro the Dragon like oh, outside yeah. of game stores he'd just be standing out there like death the Spyro and like Spyro's a menace. That was a weird trend in marketing, was the, like, guy in a costume on the street in that era of game ads. Yeah, but the Spyro ones were, like, genuinely funny. I do recommend Googling them, YouTubing them. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the, the Spyro ads from <laughs> back then, the very first Spyro game. Spyro the Dragon. We should play that sometime on the show. I like that game a lot. Play Mario 64 first before we play another collect uh, collecty platformer thing. Okay. I don't know where to go. Mm, they're just like locked in there. Are these doors? I have no idea. No, there's not a door. Is that a door? Nope. No, not a door. Okay. Time there's for the camera. Oh, yeah. A way you can get up there. Oh, that's a weird looking painting. Look at that. It's like a double ended gecko. Gross. That is, that is a fucking. Uh, no. Uh, I have to go in the upper level, I guess. There's Yeah, there's another door there. Yeah, but it just takes me back out here. Jason, Jason, oh, they both just Fred. go to the same place? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess they do, huh? Yep. I can't just, like, jump, can I? I don't nope. think so. No, you just detach from the wall. Hmm. No idea. No idea? Is that the new product by Apple? The idea? You don't the have idea. one? No, I don't have an idea. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Can you uh, go to the right around there? Does that lead anywhere? That's where I went the first time. So that's a new painting. Hmm. Yeah, that's totally where I climbed up. 
And that's where I entered, I believe. We'll see. Well, maybe not. Destroy that blood thing, cooler. Endure another Austin Powers reference. Endure? More like enjoy. Oh. Oh, you're right. That's what I meant. That must be blood cooler thing. But I'm not there because I just haven't got him. Oh, jeez. There's plenty more where this came from, baby. That's a new Austin Powers reference. I said that one before. I don't remember. Oh, is that to make you cold one again? Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of it is. I don't know either. Come here. I'm making like little ice crystals. Is there fire you can put out with your coldness or something, maybe? No idea. Do you That's go all, all slippy slidey when you're icy? Nope. Oh, I'm in the morgue now. Good. Oop. Fell off. Okay, so I have to wait for that one to go away. The camera doesn't stop doing what it's doing. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming like right after me. Look at all them dead folk. No, that's funny because that's like this is the like level. that one scene in that movie that I saw. I'm just gonna kill him. Let me quote a line from it. Ahem. There's because plenty more where that came from, baby. Totally. Remember when TV references were cool in video games? No. <laughs> me neither. Except for this one. I Game. remember being mildly amused by it in Duke Nukem 3D when I first played that in 1996. And after that, I was kind of done with it. Ah, mother of Budger. You know it's Beverly Hills adjacent? What's that? Snooty people. This people, is true. People in Beverly Hills are very snooty. Like, comment, subscribe if you're from Beverly Hills. Because you're probably... Rich and white and snooty and all of the above. <laughs> oh man. Depth we we have a, a mini Beverly Hills uh, in this area. What's it called? Bainbridge Island. Oh. Cool. A bunch of slightly wealthier than everybody else snooty assholes live there. And they're white? They're, oh, of course they are. They fucking live here. I don't know. Could be other, other races here. I just assume all rich, snooty people are white. Yeah, pretty much. That's because I'm racist <laughs> against white people. <laughs> Seriously, fuck them. Yeah, pretty like, much. Like, comment, subscribe if you're white. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bollocks. Mm. You have the swan-like grace of a young Nixon. Of a young Nixon? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess mm -hmm. Nixon's not very grateful, or graceful, so... Probably not grateful, either. I wish they would remake this for the 3DS so this would be easier. <laughs> Played in 3D. And possibly they could fix camera issues. Oh, well, that would be brilliant. I would actually really enjoy that. So this game would be great if it wasn't for the goddamn <gasps> camera. I did it. Oh, goodness. I did it. Thank you. This game would be brilliant if not for the camera. Guarantee it. Let's see where we're at. Update my save file. Culture kicks. On Scream TV. Did I, oh, I didn't open anything new. Oh, well. Next time on CNA Gameplay, we'll play more Gex or something else. I don't know. See ya then. Goodbye.